Hey, how's it going guys? It's Chogo the Chogobo, and I'm back. We're going to be doing a little bit of how to Minecraft. This is going to be a pretty short episode, and actually what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of fixing up of the house. Um, we did a little bit on stream, and this is actually going to be an offline recording. I just wanted to actually keep myself to my promise, because sometimes when I do streaming, I get carried away and I stream for way too long. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we threw in at least another really quick short episode for you guys so you have an opportunity to catch up if you feel like you are pretty far behind now this is not to woo this is not to say that um that was rude this is not to say that you know my uh, video lengths are necessarily going to be changing because i i still think that um there's I don't, I don't know why this isn't the case already but if you are you know not able to get through like every single minute of the h2 web stuff i release I think it's perfectly fine to be able to just kind of leave it aside, you know, skim through it, because I know a lot of you already do. Just skim through it, kind of see what's going on, um, and then afterwards to just kind of, if you want to go back to it when you have more time, go back to it so you can actually see what's going on. Because, you know, it's kind of, the reason why I really do um, the kind of format that I do for streams, or not streams, for recordings, is because I want to make sure that it's the same exact content that is available to stream that's also available to you guys on YouTube, because I know that some of you, you know, you really wish you could make it onto the streams, but you just can't because of time conflicts, whatever it may be, and I just don't think it's fair for me to be like, I'm not going to do the same thing, so I, I just really, really wanted to do that. Um, so, you know, if it's, if it bothers you, if you, if you're one of those people that for whatever reason decided that this is the world's worst thing ever and it bothers you deeply, then I'm sorry, I guess. I don't, I mean, I don't really, I don't really know why it would bother you quite as much as all that, but, um, I, I don't mean to make you mad. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, four things of wood. One, two, three, four. Also four things of wood. How fascinating. All right, so my computer is making weird whirring sounds. It's freaking me out. Also, I really need to get that off. There we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like a weirdly weird humming. It's kind of creeping me out. But anyways, yeah, we did kind of work on it a little bit. Um, definitely caught quite a bit to go, obviously. But I think that it's coming together quite well, actually. Um, I think this is actually a little bit taller than it's supposed to be. If I'm not mistaken, it looks taller. Let me see here, because right now it goes one, two, three, four. No, no, the ceiling is on the fifth block, so you know it's four high. It's just that the windows are oh, the windows are set, so these this thingy is too high. Got it, got it, boss. All right. So let's go ahead and drop. Man, that's freaking me out, man. I think my computer needs a good old reboot. That is not a good sound. Sounds like something's really not going well there. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure it's just some kind of weird... I'm sure it's just something's a little bit loose there, which is not a good thing, but I'm sure I'll be fine. And worst case scenario, my computer explodes and I die. I mean, what? <laughs> But, alright, let me just get this done and dusted. Oh, I'm sorry, computer. I don't know what it is that is making you freak out. But whatever it is, I apologize for making you go through it. Also, there's a sheep. The farm animals have been really liking my base as of late, and I don't know why that is. I've been trying to figure it out for a while, and I just can't, for the love of me, figure out why. Also, we're going to probably do a mining episode in the near future, but it's not going to be like your standard, like, oh, okay, we're going to go exploring. It's going to be a mining episode with the actual intention of hollowing out some area underneath um, this house. And while that may seem counterintuitive, the goal here is that I want to wipe out a lot of blocks. Now, I don't know when that will happen. It could not, it may not even be like sometime in the, you know, immediate future. My god, that whirring sounds freaking me out. It stopped. As soon as I just kind of scolded, it just kind of stopped. Alright, I see how it is. Now that I said that, it's going to come back and just watch. But, um, yeah. I think we're going to be doing a mining thing soon. Of course, our farm is still in full swing. We have a whole bunch of that. I am going to do that um, after I'm done kind of putting this upper wall together, which is not a lot. But definitely do want to get that done. I think my... 
All right, so let's pick up as much of this coal as we can. All right, not the greatest, not the greatest haul of coal, but you know, it's all right, can't complain. But yeah, we will definitely do some last minute emerald trades, get that in, because we actually did get another round of those uh, farm trades, I suppose. Or another farm trades, but another, we did another harvest. There we go, that's, that's what we're going for. We did another harvest of crops, and we do have a fair number of crops that did end up giving us a good bit of loot. We went over this time, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but it's, um, yeah, the farm is officially, it's working fine. It's working like a butte. Our entity count is reasonable. It's manageable. It's pretty low, actually, to be completely truthful. But, um, yeah, I mean, we, we have some more room to play around with. Once I feel comfortable with it, we will probably start making an iron farm here. Now, this is not going to be the world's most optimal farm. I know some people are very eager to be like, oh, make an Iron Titan or whatever. Understand that those require spawn chunks. I know that there's some speculation about whether or not spawn chunks are, you know, where that little starting area is. Regardless of that, I know that whenever we uh, actually buy the property, it's going to be a pretty big deal. So I'm thinking I might just make one here because at the end of the day, it's uh, it's a safe bet, right? Like this will always be running. Then again, I don't know, because like the, the issue with doing a iron farm in the spawn chunks is I have to lead villagers into there, which means that I would have to recruit villagers near spawn and then transport them into the actual um, spawn itself, I suppose. So it's eh, it's kind of sketch sketchmagetch, I don't know. I mean, it's not sketch and and like, oh, I'm doing something wrong, but it's kind of sketch and in terms of like the logistics or kind of how I would have to get things from one place to another. It sounds like a lot of tedious work because villagers are not known for being the nicest to move. They're kind of jerks. Let me see if I can just jump this with, nope. But I bet you if I did this, I can jump it. Yep, there we go. Look at that height, boys. And yes, I understand. I know some of you are probably like, getting up in arms and be like, Choco, this looks hideous. It does look pretty bad right now. I'm gonna actually go through and, you know, texturize and style it, but I want to at least get the frame of the house up um, and get like a general design going. Man, that is creeping me out. That whirring sound, I don't like, I do not like, I do not want, I do not like. For whatever reason, this is a giant chunk of just no glass. I might I might revisit that later. But yeah, I just want to get the frame up. Just want to get the outline done because I don't want to. Whoop. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. You know? And chronologically, my episodes are going to probably skip around from where they are respective to the uh, streams. So if you are getting a little bit confused, don't you worry. There, I'm just going to warn you right now that there's going to be some chronological like shifting going on and some sketch sketchmagetch things about that, but uh, we'll get that figured out. All right, now I'm going to add this for the time being just to signify that there is something supposed to be there. And I'm going to do this as, whoop, as well, even though this is going to also be redone. But just to give you guys a rough idea of what we're going for right now, this is going to be our house portion of the house. And I think we're going to go for even a third, maybe even a fourth story. We'll see. Fourth is pretty ambitious because um, it's going to start looking like a, like a townhouse or something, like a couple of townhomes or something, which is not what I'm going for here. But you can tell it's kind of, it has a funky little bit of a shape to it. I think it's actually kind of cooler to have this little thing here in the back, which is, I don't know, I think it's kind of neat looking. We have more room to expand, obviously, it's not the end of the world, but um, right here we can probably do with just kind of nixing this entire mountain right there, making some area for like horses and junk, but uh, we'll we'll see how that plays out. But overall, it's not too shabby of a, of a structure, if I do say so myself, I think it's alright. It's again, not going to win you any awards for beauty, but... In terms of the outline of the structure, I think it's not bad, you know? I had a couple of doubts when we started off, but it's it's looking pretty good, actually. Kind of remind. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this, because now you guys are never going to forgive me for it, but, like, it kind of reminds me of, um, a school, sort of. 
Kind of reminds me of a school the way it's laid out, but like all these like classrooms and junk, I don't know. But regardless, that is going to be what we are doing with that, and that's fine. I think that's perfectly okay. Um, well, again, I'll go through and try to make it looking better and stuff, because I don't want an eyesore for a base. Now, onto this, onto bigger and scarier things. I'm really nervous about that creeper over there. I'm really, really exceedingly nervous about him. Alright, let's just throw all this junk into there. Alright. And honestly, we don't even need these swords. I'm just going to keep this sword on me. I'm going to keep two swords on me. At all times. Nope. Alright, well, we already acquired another spider, right? Let's go ahead and let's start off with a let's start off with a potato heavy approach, shall we? I don't know why I individually clicked those or those, but that's what I did, so tough luck. Alright, so let me see here. Well, I'm gonna have to reactivate this uh, villager breeder. Because I, I just, I need more villagers at this point. I really do just need more villagers. Hello, little farmer man. Oh no. Oh, not this again. Please, not this again. No. Um, if I'm lucky, you'll consume all those potatoes and more. Yes. Good job. Good job, villager. Sparkle for me? Alright, hype on a Skype. And this is going to be the rest of the episode, guys. So if you want to just tune on out now and then just catch me another time, that is perfectly okay. This is part of the reason why I'm doing this episode. So it's an opportunity for you guys to catch up and enjoy kind of the rest of the ride here. I have been thinking about doing cuts and stuff for the YouTube thing. But again, I decided against it just for... And maybe you guys can tell me if I'm wrong here. I know some of you guys are very, very vocal about like... No, we want it to be full length. And some people you guys are like, or some of you guys are like, you know, I'm not really, not really feeling that full length business. But as always, I'll take a look at the feedback, get a general feel for how most people are feeling, and then roll with that. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's if I have more footage in there, that's easier for you guys to kind of skirt around than having less footage there, right? Like if you were, if you wanted 20 minutes of Chocobo then you can get 20 minutes of Chocobo from an hour footage if you wanted 20, or if you wanted freaking, I don't know, like, did I say 20 minute hours? I said, if, if you want 20 minutes of Chocobo, you can get 20 minutes of Chocobo. If you want an hour though, and I only have 20 minutes of footage up, you can't obviously get that hour unless you rewatched it three times, in which case, I, cool? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically that would be cool for me, but I don't know, it's, it'd be up to you guys. I don't, I don't really see the point of it. But regardless, neither here nor there. These squeaking sounds are really freaking me out. I do not like these sounds at all. They sound evil and possessed. It's making me really concerned, actually. If I die, my computer killed me. I don't know. I don't know what the heck's going on with that thing. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on. Maybe it's too hot in my room? I don't know. <laughs> you guys are probably like, Choco, focus, bro. I'm like, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm very, very confuzzled. Alright, let's go ahead and get these carrot trades in there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sparkling like a boss. Just the way I like my villagers to act. All sparkly and magnificent. Good job. Trade with me all the trades of your people. Oh, getting cheeky now, are we? Alright. Let's drop some hot and spicy trades. We're actually level 55. We have excessive amount of levels. Which is sad to say, right? You know, Bible Thump, H2M Season, or HTM rather, Season 1. They forget you, homie. Alright. Get those potatoes into emerald form. 
so that's totally how this works. And breath tastes like mint. Freaking me out. I'm very weird today. I also feel somewhat sick, which is not great. Not exactly what we're ideally going for. Excuse me. Alright, and then slash... Oh, wow, he didn't sparkle. Okay. Being a tough guy, eh? Alright, let's get some potatoes out here, some extra of the carrots. Now that should be the last of, like, the stray potatoes. Right, we got some stray carrots still left, but, um... Whoop, slash, back. Get that going. Oh, okay. Or not. Or he's a jerk. Okay. Um... Well, we can... Whoop, we can trade... Apples. For this. I, I don't know. Don't really care about that one carrot, to be honest with you. Sparkle, please. Thank you. Alright, so now we can trade out the potatoes. We traded eight emeralds for that, man. Eight emeralds just ripped. That's $2,400, mate. Wait, no, is it more than that? I forget how much. Emeralds go for 300 a pop. So if it's 300 a pop, then eight, yeah, 2400 My brain now. My brain right now is rip. Alright, let's go. Mm hmm. Get more emeralds going. Ooh. Okay, some more sparkling. I like it. Swirlies, of course, being the standard indication of villager readiness, villager alertness, and villager willingness to trade, to make them stacks. All right. Whoop. And I guess while I'm doing this, I should probably go over some stuff that have been brought up in the past. So, um, I guess more recent stuff first. So, number one, some people have been bringing up the fact that, yo, Chogwo, FYI, you can use MCMO to repair off the vanilla enchants to get the custom enchants alone, so you can then put prod four, etc., whatever you want. I get that. I went over this, I think, in the last video. I don't actually know if it was the last video, but something like that. Um, but yeah, basically, I, I understand that. It's just that right now, I don't think any of the gear is currently meriting me doing that and stuff like that. So that's why we haven't done it. Um, also, for Diamond, I don't have a high enough uh, MCMO for it. So there is also that. It right, looks like Matt just cleared the icy depths. Good job, Matt. All right. Good, good, good. Nope, that's not it. All right, I was kind of hoping he would just randomly sparkle for me. Oh, he did. Wow, okay, wow. The very clutch moment of carrots. Carrots are apparently being bays. Okay. Bang. Some more emerald trades. Some people have also been mentioning to me about doing MCMO grinders. Again, with the play restriction times, I don't really want to um, use my time grinding MCMO. It's not that MCMO is not useful, it's just not as important to me as making sure that we have some kind of actual visible progress, not just in MCMO, but like building, stuff like that. And so to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, not to say that, you know, if someone's doing MCMO, they're, they're wasting their time or anything. Certainly not, but. Um, right now, my main priority is definitely, 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 definitely more towards uh, building, getting other things going. Because I don't, I, I want to make sure that I have a pretty stable base, right? I don't want to have to wander about and get a thousand different things done whenever I only needed to get, you know, like a little bit done, you know? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know? Don't you know? The farmer's being a little rude sandstormer today. All right, um, I'm just gonna hope three of these is enough. I might go up to a fourth. Really hope it doesn't have to go up to a fifth. Please, 
please no more rob me. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, wow. Just chomped away at those bad boys. Just nom nom nom. Man, he's chomping at these potatoes. I need to save some, man. Don't eat them all at once. Don't spend them all at once, Timmy. And as for all the PvP stuff, as always, I'm not going to be really... Uh, I try, if it looks like there's something involving other players on the server, I generally try to look away from it, just because I don't want to spoil anything for myself, nor do I want to have an unfair advantage in those situations, so I'll try. Um, I mean, uh, there's some... There's some stuff I have perused. I don't know if they're true or not, but... I've been kind of goofing around. Also, it's kind of a randy dandy thing. If you happen to be watching this and you were on Vic stream and you're curious, like, what did you do exactly to Vic? I didn't do anything. I was just messing with him. <laughs> I just thought it would be great banter for him to be like, what did he take? Did he take something? What did he do? But um, we'll see. We, we might we might banter around with Vic in the near future. We will always... And if we do banter about, it's not going to be anything serious, right? Like, we're, we're, we're still buds. We're still compadres. Dude, this computer sound is making me nervous. It's also making me nauseous. I don't know why. Maybe it's a mint. I don't even know. Okay, boom, boom. I know I know the potatoes have a better rate, but just carrots feel so nice because they're, they're an even 16, and 16s make me happy. You just bang, bang, the stacks just vanish before your eyes. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, the 16 stack. It's a beautiful, beautiful work of art. Uh-oh. This could be it. This could be the end of the line, boys. No. Yeah, that was the end of the line. Rip. I don't suppose you'd sparkle off that. Oh, what a champ. Another clutch. Yo, those those trades were hype. <laughs> and now he's just like stonewalling me. <laughs> he's like, you have gone too far. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get some. So now we got some more carrots that we need to work on here. So let's just bang, 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 bang. Throw some carrots back up. Get some of that potato game up in here. And then slash back again. I know this is a pain in the butt. I promise I won't be doing this that often on stream. It's just that for at the start of whenever I'm doing this, I am pretty adamant about doing it um, so you guys can see it. Just because if you guys can see it, you'll have a better understanding of just how productive it is. Because, you know, it is something that is interesting and is, it's actually useful in a survival world as well. Um, this is this is actually, if you guys remember season one, whenever I was trying to make that giant, like, farm tower, this was one of the objectives, was to make a carrot and potato farm. And the reason why I was so adamant about it was because carrot and potatoes, these are both really good rates in that they're 16 and such. And iron farms, as great as they are, they are a little bit more time consuming to build and just get set up, mostly because of the villagers. Once you have villagers of the right height, it's not too bad, but getting the initial villagers in, it's a pretty daunting task, and I know it's not for everyone. So I did want to make sure that you guys could have a fairly good representation of what this farm can do, because whenever you're looking at farms, you have a bunch of different options from a bunch of different Minecrafters, and I thought I would go ahead and give a nod to what this can do for you as a survival strategy. So if you guys are interested in you know, getting a lot of emeralds in there, which means that you're going to be able to manipulate your librarian trades, all that stuff, which I consider to be the end game of Minecraft, then you can certainly do it this way. You can certainly do it via the crop game or the harvest game. And I think it's a very, very sound strategy. I think it works very, very well. So definitely something to try out if you haven't done it yet. And it's also fun to do this version because iron, iron farms and all that, they lock out pretty easily. You have to mix them in with coal. So unless you have like a wither skeleton farm and stuff, it gets really dicey. Um, or you have to just pray that your emerald rotations are good or you just have to have a really large number of villagers. So it's kind of like meh. Uh, the cleric, you, need, you basically need a gold farm in order for that to have any form of impact whatsoever, which is of course not always the case because it's not, well, 
you know, you can get above the nether right now, you can. But um, it's generally, at, at that point, whenever they specifically patch it, I just kind of assume that it's like too much of a bug and just don't, don't do it. Don't do it, please. Alrighty. Oh man. So I think carrots and potatoes are pretty good. The only other one that I might consider is, well, I guess you could rotate a whole bunch of string in, make a spider farm, make a spider grinder. I don't actually know another good one. I guess you could do like a really, really large and robust sugarcane farm, but again, those rates are bad. Those are the, like the rates of rotten flesh, which were terrible. That's pretty bad. Um, you could, you could also do some stuff with a leather worker, right? But again, I'm not too keen on it. I'm pretty sure the best the best is either to go with like a chicken farm or to go with a like farmer farm. I don't know of anyone else because Fletcher and Fisherman are both string as a primary trade, which is not great, admittedly. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of apples. Please no more. Stop taking all my emeralds back. You fiend! I know I can go get some, uh, whatchamacallit, I can get some wheat from under the, from my wheat farm underneath if I need to, which I think I actually do. Wow, that is nuts. That is just not good, to be honest. Alright, let's go do that. Although, I'm actually okay with, I'm surprisingly okay with the apple thing, because if I have an excess of, like, a redonkulous amount of apples, it does simplify a couple of things in the future. Not terrible lot of things, like I, I wouldn't quite describe it as like, great, I am now set for life. But this is definitely something that does come in handy, being able to have some apples on hand, because number one, if you have a ton of apples, you can just, whenever you go out into the wilderness, whenever you go out, you can just summon a horse, basically, and I have plenty of saddles to go around. Wait a minute. I know I have saddles, but did I... Oh, thank god. I thought I might have given that horse a diamond horse armor, I couldn't remember. But, um, because I have no idea where that horse is now. It does have my saddle on it though, but we can we can always trade for new saddles, it's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely need to keep an eye out on Nooch's AFK. Interesting. Alright, let's get these carrots in here. Alright, I think, yep, there we go. It's refreshing, like a beast. Good man, good man. And then, refresh, refresh, refresh. Good, good, good. Refresh. For me. There you go, whoop. Cancel. All right, cool. Fresh one more time. Let's see if we can sneak in these last trades under the wire. It looks like we're good. And that should be all she wrote. He should sparkle from that. Yeah, he did. Good, 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 good. All right, so let me get the carrots out again. And then slash back. Let's go ahead and just decimate our carrots. Because we got plenty of this in our inventory right now. Then we gotta get rid of our potatoes, so actually our potato gaming needs to needs to be a little bit less on point. Okay, not maybe not maybe that badly on point. Dad gum it. Really? Okay, fine. <laughs> this is the problem. This is the problem with relying upon villagers. They start doing this. Whoa, 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 whoa! He just murdered him. He just murdered the dude. He just murked him. He was just like, nah, man. He pushed him in the corner and he died. I really hope he wasn't an important villager. Because I do think I have some randy dandy villagers that are out there that are actually sort of important. So I'm <laughs> I'm really hoping he wasn't an important guy because he's gone now. And we can always get more. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. I mean, right now, as it is, the thing is, and this is what's kind of weird about H2M, 
is because of fix, uh, there's not really a good incentive for me to, um, how shall I say? There's not a good incentive for us to get really good librarians. Like, it sounds kind of strange, but it's true. There's very, very little reason for us to get good librarians. We can grind out a ton of emeralds if we need to. But the thing is, what really matters in H2M isn't really max minting your trades and stuff like that, because you can just slash fix all your tools, right? So you don't need to go back and forth. This is going to drive me absolutely up the wall. Are you kidding me? Are you actually joking me right now? All right, you know what? We're going to slash back. I'm going to throw my emeralds into here. Oh, this, this, this bunny's all hyped up. He's like, yes, he's going to feed me. I'm like, no, sorry, bro. Um, I don't know why I checked that chest or that one for that matter. All right, so slash back. We're just going to collect some wheat here. It's starting to really, really throw me off my game. Do, 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 Down we go. Gonna grab myself some wheat. It's gonna be great. Highly recommend it to all my friends. And then bang, bang, bang. That should be, that should be a decent chunk of wet. The only things that we really want to max min villager trade though is in terms of stuff that gets us emeralds. Those are pretty important. That's why that's why I've been saving like certain kinds of villagers. Even if they may not be, you know, necessarily the best villagers per se. Nope, nope, wrong way. So that is one thing I've been doing. I should probably put a glass border around that farm. That's probably what I should do. It'll protect my villagers from suffocating in the wall. I know exactly what they're doing right now and I don't appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna just toss these emeralds there because you won't pick those up. There you go. Then I can get rid of some carrots. Get rid of some taters. Oh, he's digging the taters right now. Whoop. Oh, just kidding. And then sparkle? Yeah, what a champ. Alright. Just take all of them. Just take them all. Take them all and give me all your emeralds, please. Hype out of Skype, boys. Okay. And then... Nope. One more sparkle for the boys. Come on, sparkle. Darn it. Why do you do this to me? Alright. Potatoes, potatoes. And. Ooh. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Traded them out. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Wait, really? Oh, he proper locked out. Okay. Derp. I didn't think he locked out right there. My bad. Okay, there we go. Get those carrots and potatoes on points. And again, he'll lock out every now and then. If I really need to, I can just trade with him an absurd number of things. If I really am panicked for whatever reason, which I don't know if I ever should be, but if I ever get really panicked, I can also go farm up a melons and pumpkins and junk and I can get him back on his feet. That said, I really don't anticipate having to do that. Alright, so let's go slash back actually. Let's grab the remaining potatoes. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Alright, so once we do that, we'll just have to go one more back. And after we do that, then we will actually be ready to cash in our emeralds. Which should be good. I think it'll be good. Sparkle? There you go, champ. Alright. Now, I am out of on-hand wheat. So, ideally here, he's just going to beast these trades. And I'm going to have to keep an eye on the rates at which he trades them for. Okay. Do the potatoes first. See if we can get easy and reliable potato gaming in. Because potatoes are what we have more of in inventory. 
All right, good, good, good. Okay, he capped out on potatoes pretty early there, but ideally he'll sparkle from it. Yep, there he goes. Nope, just kidding. Okay, JKs. Okay, carrot gaming. No, more carrot gaming. Okay, there we go. And then more taters, more taters, more taters. I need him to hook me up, man. I just need him, need him, need him to hook me up a little bit. There we go. Come on. Do ba do 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 do. Then bang bang bang. Okay. Gotta get all that going. Okay, well, I mean, we're pretty even right now. We're dead in heat against the two. Oh, crap. They're both locked. Well, guess it's time for some apples, boys. Hope you really like apples, because we just got 35 of them. Really? He's still locked out. <sighs> Gotta go back and get some more wheat gaming, guys. Never have enough wheat. Also, all these carrots are full-grown, which means that... We're actually a little bit overdue. Okay, hop down. Just that much we should do. I can't imagine we need more than that. If we need more wheat than that, I'm gonna be pretty genuinely surprised. And then apples. I think I'm just starting to throw them in random chests at this point. Here. And as my herbalism increases, I could just eat carrots for food, honestly. But neither here nor there. Please tell me that's enough to make you sparkle. I know it's one trade, but thank god. Alright, and then just get all that potato gaming going, get all the carrot gaming going. Do, do. And there we go. So we're on the we're probably on our last trade for taters and carrots if we're lucky. Dang, close, but no cigar. Oof, they're they're right neck and neck, 31, 32. Okay, we're gonna save those weed, so Slash back. That is it. So let's go ahead and put the one potato back, the one lone potato survivor. And let's see, what is our emerald count at? Not bad, not bad at all. So for those of you who are not really like comfortable with like looking at how many emeralds I have, so if this was one row, right? It's one row, then 104 extra. So I forgot how much this is gonna end up being, but slash sell hand. 204,000 slash balance slash bell top. There we go. See, this is what we needed. This was the little boost of a boost that we needed. And let's see here, slash commands. Oh, still, still got a ways to go, actually. Got another 128,000-ish to go, I think. Right, is that? Yeah, it's 500,000. Yes, yeah, so we got another we got another one of these things to go if I really want TP here, although I, 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 I can't imagine I would want to TP all. That would just sound strange. Um, I could get time. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. It was a little bit shorter and, uh, I mean, very repetitive, so hopefully it wasn't too bad for you guys. But if you did enjoy, be sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you're looking forward to in the series because it's always great to have your feedback. I'm also going to be grinding quite a bit of H2M in the upcoming weeks, so be sure to leave me some ideas down below. Anyways, take care, everyone. I'm going to make sure I eat something before I starve to death, because I am awfully close right now. But anyways, take care, and ciao for now.